do you have a car with a tailgate and then in the winter when you put it up it starts coming right back down and then boom you run your head into it my life story here today i'm going to show you on garden fork how to keep this thing up and not bang your head into it when all, all it wants to do is keep coming down like this all right the rear door of your car, SUV, or minivan is held up by these hydraulic pistons. I call them tailgate struts. Sometimes they're called uh, tailgate lifters or rear door lifters. But suffice to say, it's a, it's a hydraulic piston, basically. Um, and after a while, they wear out. Especially in cold weather, they don't work very well when they're starting to wear. But you can fix this, because if I can do it, you can do it. Here's how. Step one get your trusty helpers to help you. You ready guys? I mean girls? Okay. Find out what kind of car you own. There's usually a sticker on the driver's side door that has all sorts of information. The year, make and model of your car. Go to your local auto parts store and buy replacement tailgate struts. Uh, I got these at the local place. You know, you can order them online, but I think you're better off going to the local person because they know the nuances of these things and Besides that, they're nice people. You're also gonna need probably what are called Torx bits. And I got a little set of them here. You can buy a larger set. Of course, I like tools, so I have a larger set as well. And you're gonna need a fairly large Torx bit for this. Um, mine, I don't have my glasses on, of course, is a T30, which is a little bigger than what comes in this kit here. So just think about that. Um, I'll show you where that Torx thing is in a minute, okay? Are you gonna help me or are you just gonna lie there the whole time? Henry, this hydraulic piston is held in by screws in two places, uh, at the beginning over here and at the end over here. First off, take some pictures of this piston in place so you know how it goes back in. Learn from me, all right? But your screws, the first one, is up in here. Get yourself a two by four or a stick or something because when we take the hydraulic pistons off this thing, the door is going to fall down, all right? So we want to prop up the door with a 2 by 4 It'll slip right in here. Save your head. 2 by 4 okay? The screw on the tailgate is here, and then the screw on the body frame is just this little, move this weather stripping, is right in there. This goes in. Oh, wrong way. All right, that doesn't want to come out. So remember, you've got the two by four holding up that door. And just pull back this weather stripping. There we go. Nice. All right, old worn out one is out. New one goes in. It goes in the same way. Uh, the bolts are already built into this one. Yours may be different. Sometimes it's just a little clip that goes on. Uh, you know, just depends on who made it as how it works. This goes in here. I connect the piston to the body of the car first. If your tailgate starts failing in the fall, don't put it off because it's freezing out here. I picked the call to stay to fix the car. The piston's already extended, so we're gonna have to lift up the tailgate a little bit for it to fit in, and that's gonna make our two by four drop out, like so. One, two, three. By the way, the tailgate, oh man. Hold on. All right, bigger two by four. I think it's up. So you should really have two people to do this. And I lost the Torx bit. Hold on. Now, where is Waldo? You know? All right, it's a beautiful thing. 